Tullow in County Carlow is a small farming town located in the River Slaney Valley in the midst of rich, fertile agricultural land. There have been many settlements in Tullow from the earliest times. The area was once known as Tullock Ophelava, which took its name from the local tribe. It was also known as Tullock Fortune from Saint Fortune. One of St. Patrick's disciples, who was connected with two churches in the county of Carlow, Kilochter Nan and Tullow. A monastery was founded in the late 15th century and sometime after the 7th century the locale emerged as the sub-kingdom of Ul Felmida. The arrival of the Anglo-Normans in 1169 meant Tullow was quickly recognised as a place of strategic importance. A timber fort was built, of which there is now no trace. Two possible sites have been mentioned, one at Tullabeg and the other at Mount Wolsey. It would have been of the moat and bailey type design. In the 13th century, the settlement acquired borough status. With this came the building of a stone castle and a parish church. This was done under the supervision of Hugh de Lacey. Surrounded by fertile farmland, which was ideally suited for arable exploitation, and with the River Slaney providing power for numerous water mills, the manorial borough attracted colonists from Wales and southwest England, and by the year 1300, there was a sizable population in the area. At this time in the year, 1315, an Augustan monastery was founded by Simon Lombard and Hugh Tallon. Tullow's emergence as a focal point for settlement probably owed as much to its strategic position and the quality of the land as to the, the point it was on the route of one of the five great roads believed to radiate from Tara, which was mentioned in early literature. The stone castle, of which now nothing remains, was located on the east side of the castle lane, close to where the present Church of Ireland now sits. This document, written in the year 1285, contains no description of its ancillary buildings. It is known that there were substantial gardens, which reaped profits. There was also an orchard. The castle was attacked on many occasions. It was under constant threat from the Wicklow Irish, also known as the O'Burns and the O'Toole's. It is recorded that in 1316, David O'Toole took advantage of the instability and he launched an attack on Tolo and its castle. The attack was repelled and O'Toole lost 400 of his men, whose heads were sent to Dublin. So serious was the threat of attack that in 1359, John de Troy was paid for various military services, including capturing certain O'Brien rebels in Tullow. In 1362, the Earl of Ormond arrived with a large military force, consisting of two knights, 27 squires and 20 armed hobblers, and a much larger group of men at arms. This group remained in Tullow for 54 days until the threat had passed. It would appear that during the following years this serious threat remained. A Council of Ireland report in 1435 gave Carlo and Tullo as the only castles remaining occupied that 148 castles had been laid to waste. Tullow Castle finally fell to the O'Burns a short time afterwards. The castle was then retaken by Pierce Butler in 1532. Tullow Castle came under attack during the 16th century both as a consequence of the Silken Thomas Rebellion and also disputes within branches of the Ormond family. In the 1640s and 50s, 
Tullow Castle was taken by the Confederate Irish and then by the forces of Oliver Cromwell. The account on this occasion was Colonel Butler. He put up a very brave defence of the castle, but it eventually fell to Euston and Reynolds, who then proceeded to put the garrison to death. In 1681, Thomas Donnelly, the Worcestershire antiquarian, sketched Tullow Castle. The drawing illustrates what appears to be a fortified house, which was adapted from the earlier castle. Under closer scrutiny, the drawing reveals the castle was now a ruin. The scorch marks from the battle years earlier are clearly visible. The castle at Tullow was taken apart during the, the reign of Queen Anne and used to build a barracks on the site of the present courthouse. The image of Tullow Castle from 1681 is taken from a sketch by Thomas Donnelly, the Worcestershire antiquarian we spoke of. The site is now occupied by St Columba's Church. Local historians have long pondered over the exact location of the castle. Local folklore has placed it on the site of the present St Columba's Church. However, others place the exact site as very close to a domestic dwelling which is built behind the church. Dinelli's drawings show the road to Hackettstown at its turn north. Looking at some of the walls currently at St Columba's, some appear to be much older than the church. Could it be that they were part of the castle? Tullow's long history is today remembered at Tullow Museum. <laughs>